So guys, I uh, just got a call on the way out from leaving that other removal, and uh, this house is being renovated, believe it or not. Well, this thing is in rough shape, but it's uh, it was literally on the way home, and I know the guy that bought it to uh, fix it up, and I actually got referred by another buddy of mine, Carmen Beach. Thank you for the referral. Um, but this one's going to be interesting. They said they think it's been here over two years, and I would say that's probably pretty accurate. There's a lot of bees coming and going, and this one is going to be interesting. Uh, right there in that wall somewhere. I'm going to get a thermal on it here in a second, see if I can see exactly where it is and how big it is. But I think this is going to be a pretty big removal. So we're going to get started and see what we got. Probably goes up to the, up to the top somewhere. All right, friends, there it is. Whew. At least I hope that's all of it, because it has been a pain in the butt getting to it, and these bees are angry. And yeah, yeah, I got the suit on. Uh, only taking one sting so far, but they're sure trying to get to me. So uh, anyway, I got it exposed, so I'm gonna start cutting out this comb, try and find that queen, and get as much of this into a box as I can, because I may have to leave these here tonight. But anyway, there it is.
All right, friends, I am uh, back at my apiary. Hey, Stanley Butler. And uh, got rained out on that second job, so I only got in about halfway done. Uh, but I got about half the bees, didn't get the queen, and about half the comb. Um, most of what's left is, is the honeycomb, the nicer part of the honey, which is pretty good looking honey there. So I'll go get that, get that in the morning. And then I've got the other one here. Uh, so I'm going to set them up. Just, I'm just going to put them right out there. Uh, in those two spaces right there, set them up. Uh, I'm going to put the suit on because I can tell you right now, they're not going to be happy with me. Uh, the second one I was working on, they were pretty aggressive. Uh, they were definitely, they popped me on the hands quite a few times and they were definitely trying to sting me through the hood. And, and I can't blame them. You know, the, this cold front's coming through. It started raining. I think they sensed the weather was getting bad. And, uh, and it was an old, well-established hive. <clears throat> so, to be expected. But I'm going to put the suit on just because I've managed to... Uh, go all day without getting popped in the face so it'd be nice to finish the day that way hands are pretty sore i can tell you that i'll tell you what one good morning friends dan the bee man with honey bee rescue it's day number two on this job uh, this old ramshackle house in downtown Pascagoula that uh, a buddy of mine's working on. And what's interesting, I didn't show you this in the other video, but uh, this house has got railroad tracks literally running through its front yard. <laughs> I mean, obviously they're abandoned. They, they haven't been used in years. <clears throat> like a little spur line that comes off of that main line right over there but just kind of interesting you know character of the old city of Pascagoula or you know but it was interesting if you were living here and when the trains were still running and that thing come right through your front yard and actually it, it runs right down the middle of that street right there Catalpa Avenue uh, the, the tracks run right down the street for I don't know half a mile or so kind of interesting so anyway we're gonna get back to uh, finishing up this one here. And uh, hopefully the bees have calmed down some, which I doubt because it's a little cool. Uh, we had rain yesterday. Um, I don't think I got the queen yesterday. And if I did and she's in the box at the house, these guys are gonna be even more pissed off. <clears throat> but if the queen's here, they may be all right. The numbers aren't going to be as, you know, as many as there were yesterday, so it, it may be. We'll just have to play it by ear and see and hope I don't have to put the suit on because it's a nice, cool day. And I'd love to be able to finish this one up without having to put the suit on. So we'll see how it goes. Definitely gonna pull a bunch of these numbers off of here, though, because I 
I'm sure they're going to get aggressive again with this cool weather the way it is. I thought the cool weather kind of made them more dormant. It does, but it also makes them agitated. You know, if you can mess with them, then they're more agitated. You know.
friends. Uh, I saw the queen right up there in that top left corner where I expected her to be, but I wasn't able to, to grab her because she was right up in a big pile of bees. And I tried to vacuum them off from around her and see her and catch her, but I did not see her. So pretty sure I sucked her up into the box, which is right there, which will be fine if uh, if that's okay. And, I, and the way they're clustering right here tells me she's probably in there. So uh, I'll take these home and put them with the other half and let them settle down. And then I'll go through and check the combs later and see if I got her. And uh, worst case scenario, if I didn't, you know, I may have to come back and, you know, see if I can find her. But I'm pretty sure I got her. I put some uh, Be Quick up there and run everything out that's in every little crack. And uh, what's kind of interesting, there's also a carpenter bee, I mean, a, a carpenter ant hive up there that, right next to it right up there that I run them out to <laughs> but uh that's a wrap for this one another one from Dan the Bee Man hope you enjoyed the video all right friends I am uh back at my bee yard on my apiary and uh so I just finished up that one uh in the old rundown house with the railroad tracks in the front yard um pretty sure I got the queen in the box I saw her uh, but I wasn't able to catch her, but uh, she was in a cluster that I was trying to pull off with the vacuum, and I'm and, uh, pretty sure I, I sucked her up in the vacuum. So I'm going to add those bees to the other bees. I got one frame of brood I need to put in there first, and then I've got the queen in the cage in that other one that I need to let out, and that's going to be it for these two removals. And uh, just a little heads up, <clears throat> I've got a removal that I'm going to do tomorrow for free. And when you see it, you'll know why. So if you enjoy watching my videos, keep your eyes open for one coming up uh, tomorrow night or the next night pretty soon. You're going to enjoy this one. So I'm going to put this thing on time lapse. So you don't have to sit here and watch every second of me doing this. But uh, this is going to wrap this one up. So another one for Dan to be, man. Thanks for watching.